What I got is I swapped my XT brakes onto this bike. Maybe a little bit hard to tell from this angle, but the cable coming out, it's fine, it reached, but the, this is the one that come directly off the trek, and this frame is a little bit longer. So we're gonna swap a cable out today, and I wanted to show everybody how to do it. It'll be a brand new cable, so I'll have to fill it with fluid and uh, change this out, feed it all the way through, which Ibis, by the way, great job on uh, the tubing on the inside of this. It's so much simpler. So let's get to work. Here is the brake hose. There is the part number that I'm using for XT4 piston brakes, SMBH90 SBLS. And that does have the long, longer banjo bolt. So the last thing you wanna do is to contaminate your brake pads. So on the front, get your little brake block, do wiki. There, okay. Gets that in there, blocks that. Also, get you a bag, just to keep anything, just to keep from dripping down on this, I'm gonna put this bag over the brake caliper and keep the pad safe, rather than remove them. If you uh, don't have something or you don't feel safe doing it, it's just remove the pads altogether, it would be the easiest. And kind of janky, but with the Ziploc bag, you can kind of seal it up and uh, reduce your chances of getting your brake pads contaminated by any oil. And uh, that should suffice pretty well. So we're gonna remove the brake pads. There is a little clip that comes out on the other side. Very easy to lose, so do not lose that. Keep hold of it. This is a three millimeter Allen key T-handle. Remove that. You can put your clip back on so that you don't lose it. Keep that bolt separate. Take your brake pads, pull straight out. Shimano does have a left and a right, and they are marked as such. And there's a little screen, a spring not to lose. So just remove those. At this point, you can get a soft handled something and push the pistons back in. If they will, they'll cooperate nicely. Install your brake block. It should just slide right up in there. It's right in, and then your bolt can go back in. That one. With a little finagling, it should line right up. There we go. And you don't have to tighten that all the way. Just put it in there so it stays part, stays put. And there you go. No brake pads to get contaminated. Keep them in a safe spot. And then you're ready to start removing hoses on this end. So I'm just going to grab my multi-tool on this end, come up, and I'm going to unscrew this banjo bolt from the rear caliper. Try not to be too rough with it. Uh, there it goes. The replacement cable does come with a replacement bolt and O-rings. I just unscrewed the shifter lever from the clamp and just let it hang down. It just gets it out of the way and you don't have to, I'm not worried about doing anything to it, but it just keeps it out of the way and you don't have to fight with moving stuff around because you'll be moving this back and forth later uh, as you're trying to uh, get the, all the air bubbles out once we replace this. Take this rubber piece here, pull it apart from the, the nut. That will be an eight millimeter. You'll unscrew that completely and then give it a good tug to remove it. Loosen that. Don't lose these two pieces here. This you actually have a replacement to come with the cable, the screw that goes in this piece. The rubber thing, I don't think that you do, it uh, goes over, so just hang on to them, make sure you don't lose them. Uh, this part here, just give it just a little bit of a wiggle. Some fluid did go flying, so like I said, just be aware of where your brakes are so as not to contaminate anything. For this to go back through the frame, you're going to have to cut this piece of the end of the cable off that has the olive 
and the little insert, the little insert pin. And since I'm not concerned about a clean cut, I'm just going to use a big old set of cable cutters. Line the fingers, cut that off, and just dispose of that. Doesn't take much. There we go. Open your new cable. Ibis has hoses, or tubes rather, that go through the frame and all the way up, making installation a absolute breeze when compared to a lot of internally routed brake hoses. While I'm talking about it, if you are in the, in the market for a new bike, Ibis is a fantastic brand and I will get put I will put some links in the description to Sean George who is with N plus one bikes. He is the one that I got this bike through and uh, I'm very happy with it. And mention my name, mention Pedaling Dave, and when you go, if you go to buy one, and Sean will get you hooked up. And one will go in the top and one will go in the bottom and you may have to finagle them in just a little sorry if my hands blocking it but it's just basically laying them top and bottom of the banjo bolt hopefully you can see it if not there it is one there one on the other side through new bolt right down through the middle and into the brake caliper Get it started with fingers. Yep, Kentucky. Fingers. And the good thing about these banjo bolts is if you have a brake set up in a different direction or something like that, you can kind of aim this right where you want. This one is pretty much straight shot down into the frame, so there's no real there's no real different uh, you know technique that's necessary other than just tightening the guy down. Tighten him down pretty good. One ugga dugga. That's plenty tight. I didn't bear down on that too hard. It may, may have looked harder on the camera. All right, so real quick, I've cut it to length already. And how I did it was I lined it up with my shifter. I did put the shifter back on for a moment so that I could come over and it will run about down the same line and look nice and even with with a shifter cable. First thing, the rubber grommet will go back on first, because it is the last thing to go back on the brake lever. Then you have the screw, which goes in to the lever. And that will go next. And they do send a replacement with the cable, by the way, so you're Still have the old should you need it, but I'm going to replace it since it's new. You have the olive, little brass piece that kind of crushes in two. Um, by the way, I cut this cable with just a... I cut that to length, just using a good sharp razor. A good, nice, clean cut, clean as you can. All of that is on there in the correct order. Last, lastly, um, then you have this. A little barbed tip goes in the end. Get started by hand. And then you have this little device here. They also sent these with a cable. It's just a plastic piece that fits around it. 
You could put it in a vise if you have a bench vise in space. Literally, I have no space. So I do everything in a cramped situation and uh, it makes doing anything a real pain in the butt. But you still got to make do with what you have. So I get my vice grips. I've already had them tightened enough to be that. Then you take, sorry, talking away again. Then you take a hammer. This one is bigger than I need, but it's handy. Normally you take the hammer and hit this. This time I'm hitting it with a, hitting, uh, <laughs> hitting the hammer with this. But guess what? It works. It's on there flush. It looks good. Don't hit your bike with the hammer. I usually hit it a few extra times just to kind of make sure it's in. I want it to be done in the first try. Release your vice grips, release your plastic. Then you have a hose ready for installation. Put your cable back into the your brake lever. Put the olive up in there. Get started. Get a little push to get going. And of course, start it by hand. It might feel a little resistance to it. Then I'm going to I've got my arm, my shoulder butted into the handlebar, and I'm pushing the, the hose in towards the, the uh, lever. And trying to figure out which way it's clockwise. I give a little push towards the, the lever as I start tightening, and you'll feel it tighten up. Um, I don't know if there's a torque spec for this. I've never worried about that so much. I'm just going to give it a... nice and solidly I don't try to bear down on this overly hard you're just kind of crushing that olive little brass piece and that is probably good enough most likely you've got a little oil on there what I do to keep from contaminating is I have um, this is isopropyl alcohol magically like I said, isopropyl alcohol, automotive detailing rag is a very easy way to get some of the excess oil off that you've already got on there. There's no oil in the hose, obviously, so that's what we're about to do is put, put it in, and uh, then I will check this in a bit. I'm going to leave that off for now. It just slides on, pops on when you're done, so that'll be the last thing you do. But what I'll do first is... Pop that back off, get fluid in this system, and then um, air conditioner, sorry. And then squeeze the lever, make sure there's no oil coming out of it, and so make sure it's in good, a good install. If any of you have super tight spaces to work in, I hope this encourages you to work on your own stuff the best that you can and if you're trying to do it on YouTube you know even more luck to you man because it's really difficult to work in tight spaces anyway and then when you're trying to video it it can really make life interesting sometimes sometimes you might get angry try not to harm your bike if you if you're a one of those guys who throws tools I was that guy at one time I've, mellowed in my old age so there when you open this system up take note that there is an o-ring on this it's in every video i've ever seen about this but it always is a good reminder you did get a spare in the in the kit with your cable your hose i don't know why i call it a cable you did get a spare and sometimes you take this off just like i did and it's still inside of this and i'll show you that if this has its own O-ring on Shimano's little bucket thing, it bleeds on, screws right on this. If you have both O-rings, it may not fit down well. So, so this is why I like picks. They're always handy to have a pick around. Don't lose this. This is massively important. You can get your O-ring out. 
using that pick makes life so much easier. If you don't have a set of picks, go get a set of picks. They're fantastic. You can use them for everything. So, we're starting to get to the nitty gritty of getting fluid in this system. Be careful of the threads on this. They're just plastic. They're not super strong, so you don't want to he-man it too much. Man, that looks so much better. I love it. I love it. It's good. Uh huh. Try to be hyper careful not to cross thread. Because it would be easy to do. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. That's so nice. And it doesn't have to be mega tight. Just on there, there's an O-ring. It keeps it from leaking out. Shimano Mineral Oil. And this is a syringe. A syringe. So I'm going to put the syringe in there. I'm going to put a little dirt on there. Try to make sure there's no dirt to get into the system. And the gritty in the oil. This syringe in this kit I got on Amazon. And I will include some affiliate links in the description get that air bubble right up to the top and push it until all the air is out of that that's better that's better okay so now i have a air free system here and there there we go now You've done that. Now you want to open the system up. And let that seal this back off because I don't want it to, if it, I've got fluid already coming up to the top, which I'm going to bring the camera over and show you that. back up front brake block is installed in the back I'm gonna peek down in here squeeze that lever Make sure I don't see any air bubbles it's feeling nice and tight as you're doing that Take a wrench or something and tap on the brake hose as you're doing it. And make sure you're getting all the air out of the system if there is any. It seems to be doing very, very well. Next trick to make sure there's no air in the caliper. Again, make sure you have fluid in here. But usually I'll loosen up the brake lever, move it a bit, making sure that I haven't allowed the fluid to go below. There's a couple of air bubbles that come out on that one. Moving it around a bit sometimes will get a lot of extra system because the air will move up upwards towards this. Seems to be a good situation so far. So being back down here, I've got a glove on a tube. And what we're gonna do is insert that on here. And go up to the lever. As you saw, I have the brake levers pulled, so what you want to do is come down here and give it an eighth of a turn. On and off. Real quick. I don't know if you can see, I'm just opening the system and closing it right back up. 
just did that a couple times. So if in case there's any air in this caliper, it'll it'll force it back out. I'm gonna do it one more time. There we go. And that's it. Close off that system. So leak all your oil everywhere when you pull this off. See, I'm just going to put a drop or two to top this system completely off. Got the O-ring on it. You want to be careful not to cross-thread it. And you don't have to be too crazy with tightening this one down. Just just snug just snug bro you he manners who uh tighten everything too much take care with that be easily to damage rubbing alcohol to clean up any residual oil anywhere especially that caliper take good care to clean that caliper good so that there is no residual oil if your pads get contaminated, they will howl and they will demolish and there will be nothing left of them and then you will have to replace them. Too soon. If you need to replace them now, it's a big good time to do it. I will literally spray the caliper without going. Everything gets good, nice and clean for the reinstall. Brakes should be ready for a good long part of the season now. For the pads to go back in, which they slide right in. Bang. There we go. As I mentioned before, the little beauty clip goes over here. reinstall your wheels test thoroughly so guys that was the install of the brake cable if you want to replace one it's super simple and as you can see that i have this very cramped spot to do it in so if i can do it you can do it and i just want to encourage you to give it a shot and i ask you if you've enjoyed the channel if you found it valuable to consider subscribing to the channel give it a thumbs up hit the bell notification to see when i upload a new video which i am trying to do every week as much as i can it's winter time it's kind of hard but uh, also give it a thumbs up leave me a comment of what you think below get out and thrash it every chance you get and go out and live life big <laughs>